Hey guys, I'm back with a new video on transient hypogamma globulinemia of infancy. So, the term itself says that it's just a transient condition where you see a decreased levels of immunoglobulins. Yeah, and that too in infancy. So yeah, guys, what is happening is uh, maternal antibodies are present in infant for six months, like around three to six months. The antibodies are maternally derived, so the infant has to do nothing till then. But uh, around the age six months, our body starts developing antibodies on its own. So you know uh, to fight against the pathogens. So if the physiologic nadir, like uh, which occurs around the three to six months, if it is prolonged, and then the body, uh, the IgG synthesis is delayed in our body, so you will have decreased levels of immunoglobulins. So guys, at that time you won't have antibodies in your blood, uh, so you will have decreased levels of IgG immunoglobulins, and yeah, and the IgA and IgM may be variable. They may be decreased or may also be normal, but the levels of IgG are decreased. So guys, the thing is, your it is a transient condition and it requires no treatment. And also remember that the antibody response to vaccines is normal here. So yeah, when you give tetanus vaccine, you see IgG antibodies against that. And if you also see antibodies against your DPT, yeah, exactly. You see IgG response against your vaccines. So this is how you differentiate this transient condition from, um, you know, X-linked agama globulinemia. So what is X-linked agama globulinemia? There you see uh, no, I, no B cells in your blood as well as no antibodies. Like you do not see IgA, IgM, IgG, anything in your blood. So that is A gamma globulinemia. In that condition, vaccines are contraindicated because you have got no antibodies to produce the response. So yeah, so this is a transient condition uh, uh, where you see low levels of IgG and you also see antibody response. And also there is an association of this with atopic features like, you know, the, uh, the baby can have eczema, food allergies or, you know, asthma, all that. Yeah, and you differentiate fr uh, you differentiate this from X-linked agama globulinemia from combined variable immunodeficiency. Okay. And yeah, so you require no treatment, it self resolves, just observe the patient. And yeah, if uh, like you can also prescribe like prophylactic antibiotics, and if the infection occurs, they are like mild uh, sinopulmonary or GI infections. Yeah, that's it about uh, transient hypogamma globulinemia of infancy. And yeah, in lab findings, you see a normal B and T lymphocytes, or you just see decreased IgG, like I said. And yeah, you differentiate uh, this from other conditions like, okay, how do you differentiate this from severe combined immunodeficiency? There you see failure to thrive and severe uh, fungal uh, opportunistic and bacterial infections because there you do not have T cells and B cells. And uh, yeah, that's it. And X-linked agama globulinemia is like a very severe condition. Uh, you see that in boys because it is an X-linked recessive condition. So you see that in male child uh, with you know recurrent sinopulmonary infections and all that uh, and remember it requires no treatment it is because of increased physiologic nadir that's it about transient hypoglam gamma globulinemia of infancy guys if you like my videos please subscribe i'll upload new videos bye bye